Hey guys, and welcome to my minimalist morning routine. My morning begins at 7.30 a.m. every morning when I'll get up, open the blinds, and begin making my bed. I love starting off with making my bed because it's one of those small things that you can do to feel like you've had a bit of a success early on in your day. Plus, I love just being able to be in a peaceful and clean environment and making your bed first thing in the morning definitely helps with that. Next up, I'll usually brush my teeth and do a little bit of quick skincare before heading off to the gym to get some exercise. Once I get dressed, I'll plug in a podcast, which is usually what I'll listen to at the gym, and then go ahead and get a glass of water on early in in my day uh, so that I can start off hydrated and ready to go. Hey guys, I just wanted to jump in here because I've been getting some questions about where I find sustainable and ethical activewear lately. And the brand I'm wearing right now is called This Is A Day. And they're an ethical and sustainable company that focuses on using sustainable materials and also paying workers fair wages, which I love. Uh, and their stuff is really cute, specifically these brace on leggings that they have are one of my favorite activewear leggings I've ever used, ethical or not. Probably my favorite feature is the fact that they have a built-in pocket for your phone. Uh, and I love listening to podcasts while I'm working out, so that is always nice. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to show these to you guys. And if you're looking for ethical and sustainable activewear recommendations, I'll have the stuff I'm wearing here linked below. Yeah, check out This Is A Day. I've been trying to go to the gym a lot more regularly lately, and a few things that I've been loving are biking and also yoga and weightlifting. Uh, they're things that I haven't really done a lot of in the past. I've typically just been the cardio all day person, but I've really been enjoying being able to stretch my body and also get stronger. Once I get back from the gym, I'll have another glass of water and then begin making my morning smoothie. It's an easy way for me to get a lot of fruits and vegetables and whole foods in right at the beginning of the day. Uh, and I absolutely love making smoothies, especially during the summer. They're cool, refreshing, and a great way to cool off after a trip to the gym. Once I've made my smoothie, I'll usually drink that while I'm making plans for how my day is going to look. I love being able to outline everything that I have to accomplish in a given day uh, so that I can start off my day with some structure and also with a general idea of how I want to distribute my time. And then before getting dressed, the one last thing I'll do is go ahead and just tidy up our apartment. Uh, Christopher and I don't usually tidy before we go to bed, so before I start work for the day, that's usually something that I try to do. It doesn't take long, maybe three minutes, but it helps me, once again, to just stay focused and more productive throughout the day. After I finished cleaning up, I'll usually go ahead and change into something comfortable, casual, and yet presentable because I do often like going on walks in the middle of the day. I'll also do my makeup at this point, and my makeup routine is pretty simple. It only takes about, I'd say like three to five minutes on a given day, but it's something that I enjoy doing just because I like that put together feeling that it gives me. I'll also do my hair at this point and I'll rotate between wearing it up, wearing it natural, as well as curling it. So as you can see today, I decided to go ahead and curl it. And at this point, I'll go ahead and read my Bible. I've been going through uh, the first few books of the Bible recently and really been enjoying that. 
And after I finish reading my Bible, praying, I'll begin to meditate. And this is just a simple, relaxing way to be able to get myself centered and in a more clear headspace to begin the day. I love meditating to nature sounds. It really helps me to relax and focus. And I'll just do that for five to 10 minutes and then go ahead and get ready to get started with my day. I love using hage concepts in my regular day-to-day -day life and so I'll often light a candle and drink several teas. And once I've kind of gotten that atmosphere in the right place, I'm ready to begin my day. I work remotely and go to grad school remotely, so I spend a lot of time at my computer. And from this point on, I'll just kind of finish up my day and get into the beat of the work I have to do. Well, there you guys have it. That is my minimalist morning routine. And obviously it doesn't look exactly the same from day to day. I don't usually work out five days a week. It's usually three to four. But I hope this gave you some inspiration on how you can structure your mornings for success throughout the rest of your day. And also maybe some inspiration on how you can incorporate mindful practices and simple habits that are going to just allow you to live a more fulfilling life. Uh, that's everything I have for you today though guys, but if you enjoyed this video and if you have not subscribed already Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more minimalism and intentional living updates Coming at you every single week and of course if you want to follow me more regularly You can always follow me on Instagram. I'm at ashlyn.eaton over there and I talk a lot about the same sort of mindful practices minimalism things like that over there too So you can check that out. I'll have that linked down below and finally I want to know what your minimal morning routine looks like so definitely go ahead and comment down below what are some healthy habits that you try to incorporate into your morning every single day or maybe what's a habit that you want to begin incorporating into your life I'd love to hear so let me know your thoughts in the comments below give this video a like if you enjoyed it I love you guys all so much bye